Hi, I'm Mike Song, author of The Hamster Revolution for Email, and this video will teach you essential OneNote basics. These tips will work for most versions of OneNote for PC. First, locate the OneNote app icon wherever you find your Microsoft programs. Look for the icon that tells you the version of OneNote. I use OneNote 2016, and I don't use the version that is simply called OneNote, as that has fewer features. Once you open OneNote, you can create specific notebook binders for different meetings, projects, or any major part of your life. Now, let's create a notebook. Please follow along and create your notebook with me. In the upper left corner, click on File and New. Now you can choose a location for your OneNote notebook. I will double click on OneDrive-GetControl.net because that is where we store our business documents. Ask your IT help desk where you should store documents so that they are backed up to the cloud and most secure. Next, name your notebook and then click Create. Select Invite People if you'd like to share your notebook with others. I'll click Not Now for now. Now you can see our new OneNote notebook. When clicking on a notebook, we then can see it has sections across the top from left to right. Further to the right, we see the Pages area. Each section can have many pages added to it. To see all your OneNote notebooks pinned to the left side of the screen, click on the down arrow and click the sideways pin symbol. Your new notebook will quickly synchronize to the cloud. Everything in OneNote can be organized and reorganized via drag and drop. You can click and drag any notebook binder into a different position. You can rename a notebook by right-clicking on the notebook, clicking Properties, and editing the name, then clicking OK. Click Share to share a notebook with a colleague and Close to delete a notebook. You can divide any notebook into useful sections by adding colorful section tabs across the top. Click on the plus or asterisk sign at the top of any page to add a new section. Right click on any tab to quickly rename, delete, or copy it. You can also right click to change the section color or password protect a top secret section. You create a page by going to the right hand side and clicking Add Page. You can name the new page by filling in the topic area in the blank space in the upper left portion of each page. Let's call this page Weekly Meeting Action Items and have each page represent the notes for each week. Right click on any page to quickly rename, delete, or copy it. Now you can start taking notes by placing your mouse anywhere on the page and typing. Notes can be reorganized with a simple left click and drag. When OneNote is closed and you want to jot down something fast, click the Windows key plus N to open QuickNote. Take your notes and then click on the three dots at the top center of the ribbon. Click Pages, Move Page, and now watch as I navigate the note to the preferred Notebook, Section, and page. This kind of navigation is very, very common in OneNote, so practice it now a few times. You can tag your notes to mark them as tasks, questions, bright ideas, pretty much anything. Click to the left of your note and click on the triangle in the Tag section to see all the options. Click on an option and you've tagged your first note. By the way, why use tags? Let's say you typed out a brilliant idea several years ago and you tagged the idea with a light bulb and then forgot all about it. Years later, you click the Find Tags button and there is your brilliant idea and a bunch more. It can search a specific page to all of your notebooks. You can tag almost anything. I can even create a customized tag for an industry-specific topic by clicking on the Tags drop-down triangle and Customize Tags. Now that's powerful. By the way, OneNote keyword search is also really useful. OneNote search also lets you search on a specific page, section, notebook, 
or all of your notebooks in a flash. Take a moment to create a real or mock version of a OneNote notebook. Practice adding, deleting, and reorganizing section pages and tags. Before you know it, you'll be more organized and effective at managing that growing mountain of information that hits your world every day.